All right, I'm uh, I'm out in West Greenwich, Rhode Island, uh, out on one of the side roads off of Route Three. There's a state park over here. It's in one of my other different videos about brook trout fishing. I'm back at the same spot. There's a little one-lane bridge up there that you come down. Route Three is up that way. There's an old uh, or a volunteer fire station, and then you you take a right down here. Over the bridge, right to here, there's the parking area. And that's funny, there's actually a chicken right there for some reason. Someone lost their chicken. Um, so I'm going to try doing some brook trout fishing. There's a lot of horse flies out again today. As soon as I stepped out of the car, they came out. And uh, hopefully they won't be too much of an annoyance, but we'll see. I'm walking down the trail now. My, my car is back this way. Now, one thing about this state forest area here is uh, is poison ivy everywhere. Well, actually, I think it's poison oak, but it's all this stuff right here. The three-leaf things, that, that, and it's all intertwined into the ferns, covers both sides of the path, so if you step off the path even a little bit, you end up uh you end up getting it if you're allergic to it. I'm one of those people that is, so I just avoid it. But it's literally all over the sides. The nice thing about the walk though is the the path's really wide. You could drive a car down it and that makes it so you can keep your distance from it. Wow, I'm a little stunned. I don't know if you can see it right here. Just uh, just went under. The uh there's a, a snapping turtle that was literally, uh, pff, man, <laughs> it was probably about that big around, and it was sitting right in front of me, right down here, just right there, right at the edge of the water. I, and as I was getting the camera ready, I, I mean, this is how far away it was from my backpack and, and the, uh, the net I have, uh, two feet, maybe two and a half at the most, and, um, I'm sitting here putting everything down, getting everything set up, and it's just right there. I mean, this thing was massive. If I had walked over and stepped on it, I think it would have taken my end of my foot off. So this is the this is the pond again that I'm at. Um, standing up on, on the dammed up side here. It drops down over there. And uh, I'm using my cast master spoon. Let's see if I can come up with anything in here. Hopefully uh, stuff's biting here in the shade. Check it out. I haven't been out here that long and I already got a nice uh, native brook trout. That thing's big. As far as brook trout go, they don't get uh, too, too much bigger than that. So I'm going to get it in a bag and ready to take home. That's great. I didn't think, uh, wasn't sure if the lure was going to work or if I had to use bait or not. Last time was all bait, but this is great. Well, I got uh, fish number two. See if I can get the hook out without getting hooked myself. There we go. All right. There's those nice colors again on that one. This one's actually another. Whoops. <laughs> another good sized brookie for being a native. I'm gonna get it in the bag here with the other one. Here we go. I actually had a, a third one, but that one was too small, so I let it go. And there's two. Close this up. I might try a few more casts, but I'm getting ready to head out of here, get back to my house. So we'll see what happens right now, though. I'm a little amazed that uh, this fish even was able to eat the the lure, if you can see right there, the lure is almost the same length as the fish. I mean, there it is in my, there we go, there, there you go in my hand, I mean, look at that, it's like the length of my hand, that, that, put that one back, there we go. I don't know if you can tell or not, but this one's probably the uh, the biggest of the three. There we go. 
get that hook out. I'm glad I decided to stick it out for a couple more casts. There's, I mean, in proportion to my hand there, you can see the fish. That one's a good size one. Gonna end up making a nice meal between the other two. So I just I got my day pack here. Keep all this stuff in there. I usually keep uh, one gallon Ziploc bags in this thing. At least two of them, and then the the smaller quart-sized ones. It just makes it so much easier for mobility, pack and carry. Okay. I mean, there they are. I just have to. <laughs> nice. Okay. And I can just throw them away in here and they're good to go. One of these, uh, these day packs, these are just. One of the best things I ever bought for doing outdoor stuff for any of my day hikes. It's got the water bladder in it that I put there. Um, all the storage pockets. I keep a Gore-Tex raincoat in it. Uh, rain pants inside that too. Um, just all kinds of odds and ends. A multi-tool. A small tackle box. Probably about probably about the size of my hand. A little bit bigger. Um, with different lures and stuff. My collapsible fishing pole. So I can just walk out with all of it right on my back. and unload and get ready when I get out here and it's just so convenient plus it's not like carrying the the gigantic uh, trekking backpack the one that I, I go on mountain hikes and stuff with that one's good for overnighters obviously because you can fit in the uh, the tent and the bag sleeping bag and all that stuff but this one's perfect for quick little excursions I don't know if you can hear all the frogs over there on that side of the pond they're making all kinds of a racket. <laughs> they're much louder than uh, you'd expect, since they're, I mean they are only like that big. Uh, you know what? Um, after that last catch, I'm motivated to throw a few more casts out. We'll see how it goes. I'm packed up. I'm on my way out of here. The the pond's still right behind me, but I'm uh, heading back down to the car. This is actually a really cool area that would, I mean, I'm sure it's probably not allowed, but this would make an awesome campsite right here. And with the pond right there, I mean, you could set up shop right here, wake up early in the morning, just do some trout fishing right there. The trail in is, it's not too far from the car. But uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're probably not allowed to do that out here. Would be a cool thing to set up though, if they had permits or something for it. 